you want to make sure that you keep them in either a pen or keep that leash on them. If you don't already have a pen and don't want to spend more, you know, spend more money, keep that leash on them. Put them around your ankle or, you know, forget about it. So that way he doesn't create any bad habits. Okay. And when he goes to try to chew on something, you're right there. Right. And you say no. And he knows that that's what that means. Yeah. Yeah. He started actually chewing on the leash when we left it on him. Okay. So, so it's no. Sure. You say, say it once no. and you okay. give him that firm eye contact. Okay. If he wants to be disobedient about it, he'll, we'll know. And then at that point, I would say get like a, a rolled up piece of newspaper or oh, something. Okay. But don't. Don't have a fight with your dog. Never right, have a fight and never say it. Yeah. Okay. Don't have a fight like, like I said no, but you're still pulling and I'm pulling now, you know, and then it's a fight to see who's stronger. Okay. And okay. don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Ruben. Nope. Good job. Good no. And I like that he doesn't. walking out the room. You better not touch my stuff. That's my plate of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Good enough. I'm trying to get you all to a win point so when I can get to that point over there adding a little distance because he already knew this word. So I'm not teaching him anything new but I'm getting you a step further than what he already could do. Yeah. So now I'm adding distance and I'm just if I can get over to the green chairs, I love your chairs. If I can get over there, then you can have your dog back and then see what you can do. Ruben, no. I'm throwing it on the ground at this point. Good job. Good no. Free. All right, who wants the dog? I'll turn. All right. <laughs> I have a few more things. I think I something. So that way, if he's chewing on the baseboard, you say no. He knows from a distance. That's what you meant. So I I show it to him, and then I say no, and then I drop it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say his no his name. You can just add like a kissy noise in your direction or a sound. Okay, and then I say I say N O, and then I drop it. Mm -hmm. Ruben, Ruben. Oh, are we playing this game again? Once you have eye contact, Ruben. There we go. And just drop it. Okay. No. No. Bet. And just go over the treat. Don't let him get it. You picked it up. I did. That's okay. Also, you completely controlled. I don't want I don't want you to gain those natural behaviors. Go ahead and just take a step in front of it. So okay. that way if your dog still wants to challenge you, all he has to do is try to walk around behind your back. Okay. And that's the natural So dog step behavior. in front of him. Mm -hmm. Between or him and the tree, creating a barrier. Should I step over the tree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does he have to be in a SIT or Yeah. Okay. No, so this is complete natural I'll do it again. This is complete natural work. So say He's laying around, he's laying around, and I accidentally, I like that he's kind of like standing and looking at us right now. And I just accidentally like, boop, just dropped something on the floor. No. with this and I'm gonna when he looks at me I'm just gonna toss it out on the floor again no like a kid run maybe or down yeah. kissy noises always work and toss it on the floor 
be on the lookout for if he tries to go for it. No. <laughs> you can say good boy. Good boy. <laughs> good job. Great. Good boy. Take it if you want it. <laughs> Very nice. So he <laughs> understands that word so well. This is really just helping for him to understand that when you communicate to him, really you're only going to say things once. And then afterwards, my reaction is not going to be so fun and pleasant. It's going to be really scary. Okay. So right. don't, don't. You just want to listen to yeah. Listen. Um, so come, sit, lay down. Dad, you want to try again? Sure. <laughs> Where's the dog going? He's, he's grabbing he's some water. Okay. So come sit. Uh, we'll do a lay down and we'll do your heel. And that'll be all seven words okay. along with you all being able to open your threshold right. and your dog still staying, staying in the same position okay. for today. Okay. Ruben, come. You sit. Oh, uh, well, you already commanded him, so he got to do it. Good boy. You can release him. <laughs> Good boy, free. And then you can accidentally drop something okay. on the floor. Right, yep. Get his attention without saying his name. No! Nice. nice. Walk in his direction. You're gonna go around my back or are you gonna lay down? Perfect, do your walk away. So he's chewing on the baseboards, you told him no, you walk away and he's still not chewing. No, he is, he stops, he does stop. Oh good, good. Anything else where you tell him no and he's not listening? Yeah, well, it depends. Uh, <laughs> it depends on his distraction too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Should I give him this or? You can. Okay. Um, lay down. Lay down. Good lay down. Um, lay we've been having issues with the potty, I think, again. Like yesterday okay. and the day before. First we were doing the great training. So after we finished, he made a little uh, pee down here. And yesterday I was getting ready to leave the house and I was just kind of eating here. And we just came back from a walk. And then I hear him pee in the hallway again, so I'm not sure. Away from you in a different room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he but generally just came does back away from, from us. A, yeah, so I don't think he really needed to pee, you know, because we came back. I don't know what's going on with that. Like, he sometimes pees. He's taking the medicine for the UTI, though. He yeah. is, yes. We are basically halfway through now. Did the vet say anything about the medicine making him pee more to flush it out? Hmm. He did not. I didn't say anything about that, yeah. And also, you mentioned one key point. You were over here, and your dog was yeah. in a completely different Yeah, he does that. So he after today, around. you know, it, potty accident should be minimal, because after today, we'll be kind of, we'll know that we need to kind of restrict it first okay. before giving him that roaming space. Okay. And if we do want to give him roaming space, I would say definitely let it be after some training time, after a full, uh, at least 30 minutes or so of training. Okay. Are you chewing on something you're not supposed He's to? Chewing He's chewing on the leash. leash. No. Nope. That's nope. it. That's it. Um, but after today, we would really like to uh, just keep that space really small. And you'll find that if you do like those... So